so let us start with the uh, this particular class of carboxylic acid reactions this involves basically your coh function group so the reactions which we are going to study is your decarboxylation reaction decarboxylation reaction we'll be also studying about a method called reduction right so and we'll also be learning a uh, kolb's electrolytic method kolb's electrolysis or kolb's electrolytic method here by decarboxylation method i'll be preparing alkanes and by reduction i'll be preparing from your uh, uh, acids alcohols and by kolb's electrolytic method i'll also be preparing alkanes so now what do we do we have picked up we have already seen we have got sodium by uh, sodium carbonate here done then we also got water molecule now we still have an hydrogen isn't it in the sodium hydroxide to have come out carbonate has come out we still have one hydrogen that hydrogen goes and shifts to this benzene in this one c6h5 and you get benzene Benzene, right simple logic whenever you are treating uh, uh, sodium salt of sodium or calcium salts whatever it is you are treating with soda lime you will be getting decarboxylation reaction that is sodium carbonate right now this sodium carbonate further dissociates into sodium oxide and carbon dioxide correct so you are preparing alkane whenever using soda lime so remember decarboxylation reaction are going to prepare alkanes here in this case we have got aromatic benzene benzene also so we have prepared benzene also remember that now let us come back to class part 1 uh, reaction <coughs> after decarboxylation we are going to see the reduction of your acids whenever we see reduction right reduction reactions basically we very well know reduction reactions require reducing agent now important your carboxylic or uh, when i speak about the reducing agents there are two types one is your lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride and as we know platinum palladium nickel also now sodium borohydride uh, borohydride is specific only for your aldehydes and ketones remember this whenever you using aldehydes and ketones you have to use sodium borohydride only but whenever you using lithium hydride lithium aluminum hydride can be used for acids specifically i can use for acids sodium borohydride does not work with acid you have to remember this logic so sodium borohydride used for aldehydes and ketones lithium aluminum hydride can be used for this also but this can't be used for this okay only that in reaction now when i take an acid or coh i am going to introduce as i said lithium aluminum hydride reducing agent and in the presence of h3o plus correct yes when i use this particular thing reducing agent has to add um, hydrogen and remove oxygen so it's going to remove this oxygen and add this hydrogen so what do i get i get r ch2oh an alcohol that's it simple acids on reduction gives alcohol so i've got a primary alcohol prepared that so now let us erase the whole thing and start with kolb's electrolysis method yeah let's take this out and i need the whole board for preparing or <coughs> showing you the kolb's electrolytic method let us see what it is so whenever you are speaking about kolb's electrolysis method heading so whenever we speak about kolb's electrolytic method the most important thing to remember is this method is used to prepare your alkenes right which type of alkenes it's going to prepare r and r that is it's going to prepare only like your ethane combination but never a methane so you can just write methane cannot be prepared by kolb's method let us see why, why what is the reason kolb's electrolytic method Now, for Kolb's electrolytic method, first you are going to take <coughs> sodium acetate. When you are taking sodium acetate, try to pick up two moles. This is easier to do. So when it, this is dissolved, it's going to dissociate. Just observe. <coughs> it's going to exactly cleave here. What do you get? You get R C O minus anion, and you get a cation. Now this is. this whole thing occurs in an electrolytic cell so what is an electrolytic cell which has both the cathode and anode electrode and <coughs> connected to the circuit right so when you take this electrolytic solution first this is your anion and this is your cation so we very well know anion has to go to your anode and your cation has to go to your 
cathode. Now pick this anode. So first let us write anode cell reaction. <coughs> anode cell reaction and let us write cathode cell reaction. <coughs> right. So whenever I write anode cell reaction let us divide. First importantly take this anode anion right so when this <coughs> when you take this anion what are you first observing when this <coughs> dissociates there is a cleavage of the bond here and you get r and r correct along with that you get your carbon dioxide out and we very well know anion <coughs> 2 minus so it's going to donate two electrons at anode always there is loss of electrons that is by oxidation process so anode always oxidation hence you have to show the loss of electrons on your right hand side if you are writing on this side it is reduction when you are writing on the right hand side it is oxidation done <coughs> Now, when I come to cathodic cell reaction, what is there at the cathode? You have your cation done. But what did we say? This is aqueous solution we said. So, first important at the cathode, most of you do mistake by taking cation. Remember, at the cathode, you are going to pick up water. So, what will happen first? This water is going to dissociate. How does this break? This breaks up into 2H+. <coughs> Right now, just observe 2 H plus is done. Along with that, H plus you have OH also, isn't it? H plus and OH minus. So you get 2 OH minus. Now observe 2 2s are 4, 2 plus 2, 4. Correct. Now, you, this 2 H plus is going to pick up these two electrons. That is where cathode reduction happens. So these two electrons from here are accepted by this. Now, these two electrons are picked up. What do I get? I get this is already taking. So, this will become hydrogen gas. Yes or no? Now, observe. Your next role is this OH- is still existing there. Your Na cation will combine. <coughs> How many did I take? Two, isn't it? So, two Na cation will combine with two OH- giving me two sodium hydroxide. That's it. This is your Kolb's electrolytic method. Most important, write the cell reaction here. After writing the cell reaction, please uh, write which is the anode and anion and cation. Pick up that anion <coughs> and show the formation of alkane. After that, as I said, aqueous solution. So dissociate the water into your H plus and OH minus ions. And we very well know these two electrons from the anode in your electrolytic cell. If I <coughs> draw, right, this is connected. <coughs> when you connect from your anode, it's going to travel towards your cathode. Right. So, when it's going to travel towards the cathode and this is picked up by your H plus and finally you get hydrogen gas here, carbon dioxide gas here and finally your formation of sodium hydroxide. Our main aim is uh, Kolb's electrolytic method is used to prepare alkanes only that to ethane not methane it's starting from ethane.